Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. Not more than what we already knew. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Okie pokey, so let's have a look at the uh, the two samples we've got and see if they match up. So, the control sample, I'm guessing that's the one we got from the docks, the one that uh, isn't mixed with Montoya's blood. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Hmm, maybe that is the one from Montoya's sample. Well, let's look at the contaminated sample. Oh yeah, docks sample. <laughs> the highlight actually says, okay, so that was the one from Montoya's blood. This is the one from the docks. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you... Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. I suppose with all that revolution talk, we knew Cobblepot wasn't going to stay quiet for long, but I don't think anyone could have guessed that this is what his first move or at least first move that we know of was going to be. Alright, let's try and find uh, a large portion of this signal and see if we can use that as one of the three points to try to triangulate Cobblepot's uh, position. Find her? Who's the her he's talking about? Can't be Montoya because everyone knows where she is. Hell, even Cobblepot knows where she is. Who knows? Maybe he's looking for Martha! Because <laughs> everyone in the DC Universe apparently looks for Martha Wayne. Or anyone with the name Martha. Yes, I know, I'm banging a dead horse there. Beating a dead horse, even. <laughs> Definitely not banging a dead horse. <laughs> Seems like whoever this woman is, Cobblepot definitely, definitely wants her dead. Maybe it will serve our best interest if we find her before Cobblepot. We find this woman, we find Cobblepot. Maybe that's the way this is going to go. So, so this island was kind of ominous in the distance here. It only makes sense that's where the last location is. And, uh, you go. You'll be the right. All right. Bingo. The Skyline Club. Jesus, 
just didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. I suppose the Skyline Club is a prime real estate for any thug or gangster out there, so <laughs> Cobblepot moved in quick, especially, especially since how he knew it was going to be vacant very soon. See if we can take down uh, Cobblepot's men nice and quick before he notices I'm here. Ooh, a nice silent takedown, Arkham style. You lot, come check out this office. We're in. I don't know. Please, it's Mr. Cobblepot. Name, name. You can help me, or you can join Falcone instead. Cobblepot, time to meet the bats. Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. I said let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Ended it. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know from personal experience. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to be doing this. All right, fair enough. Yikes! I have got many, many questions that revolve around the size and colour of this guy, but they uh, are going to have to wait until I've knocked old Rocky Dennis down a peg. Gonna have to try harder than this. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, thank God I had a spare. Oh, so that's how it's going to go. You're going to throw me out a window and then just run away. Alfred, 
track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Right, so three questions. One, Selena Kyle Catwoman. That was the she that Cobblepot was looking for. Two, Co uh, she was working for Cobblepot, which means those men in the warehouse and those men in the mayor's office right at the start of episode one were working for Cobblepot, not Falcone, despite what they said. And number three, what the hell is going on with that big blue Stonehenge Easter's Island looking dude? <laughs> I first saw him, I saw that belt buckle. I thought he was a member of the X-Men or something. <laughs> oh, so many questions. So many questions that need answers. Maybe it's time for the world's greatest detective. <laughs> I can never read or hear no capes without thinking of the uh, that little old lady from Incredibles. No capes. <laughs> Stacked deck. Not exactly the kind of place you expect to see Bruce Wayne, but somehow the kind of place I bet he would actually quite enjoy. Oh, let's, just, let's just go uh, have a look around, see what there is to see, and try not to get noticed. Nope. <laughs> well, so, so much for not getting noticed. <laughs> Literally as I said it. Oh, tunes for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. But where's the, where's the tunes for twerking? That's what Bruce Wayne wants to know. Shaking that bat booty. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see that. Although I'm sure it exists somewhere on the internet. twist in the race for the mayor's office as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent. But that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as, well, the jealous sort. Very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. Well, he's not wrong there. I wasn't best pleased when Selena Kyle took my uh, grapple hook, so... Did you hear? Yeah, he was right about that thing. I his house. <laughs> Sorry, his manner. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. Uh, you'd be surprised. Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. Figured it was probably a good idea not to piss off the locals. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> hey, you made the deal. It's your bed. Now you lie in it. It's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. 
is the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. Whatever Penguin is planning, innocent people will end up in the line of fire. Innocence. Not me. Bruce. Sweetie. The gallant knight thing. It really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us? Working together? After all. I'm not really an all-work-and-no-play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. You and I... Oh, look at that. Saved by the thugs. Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. She's with me. I think you need to leave. Oh, looks like we've got the makings of an old-fashioned bar brawl. Let's do this. See, look at that look on Bruce's face. You know he's excited about it. Boom, baby! <laughs> Yikes! Oh. oh, I thought Bruce was going to go for an old-fashioned WWE chokeslam there. See, look at that. I told you he's enjoying it. Was that? Was that? That was like a belly to back suplex mixed with a rock bottom. See, I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Batman watches WWE. Oh, it's gotta be the bar. Gotta be the bar. Every Western I've ever watched has told me it's the bar. <laughs> I was hoping he was gonna slide him down it. Damn it. Once we're done with this fight, we're gonna. Not done yet. We're gonna brush up on your uh, your Western TV knowledge there, Bruce. Judo chop! <laughs> oh no, you don't! I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Oh, now you've just given me two weapons. Oh, let's end this. Pretty good for such a pretty boy. Yeah, we really don't have time to play world's greatest detective. I think we need to get out of here before the police come in. Come on, this way. Man, from the time the police pulled up to the time they came in the door, that was quite a slow response time.
Hurry, check the alleyway! Do you see anything? Negative. Let's check the other side. Now, now, Selena, you think just because we beat up a room for the thugs that we're exclusive? Oof, we, uh, we, we should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? Looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. As much as I do like a good Batman beatdown, I do believe I'm inclined to agree with Alfred on this one. I mean, Batman's in good standing with the police. Everyone loves Batman. Bruce Wayne's reputation has already been dragged through the mud. So, I mean, like, an extra bit of dirt couldn't really harm him at this point. Plus, if we go to Mayor Hill as Bruce Wayne, he might believe we're on our knees groveling to come back and then uh, might give up some information, but... If Bruce Wayne's name's already been dragged through the mud, there's no reason to drag Batman through it as well. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Whether we'll actually be able to get him talking or not is a different matter entirely, but it's worth a shot at least. <laughs> Looks like they still haven't fixed that window from my handiwork the other night. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. No, so you better tell him I'm coming. Uh, sir? Bruce Wayne? To see you? He'll be right out. I'm not waiting. Oh, come on now, Bruce. Toying with the receptionist. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well. Straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. I think you're confusing me with James Bond. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. 
I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, then Oswald has a right to be angry. Is there any proof? Your father and I hid our tracks quite well. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. I need answers, Hill. You're not wrong there, but I'm not going to sacrifice my morals to get them. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. The judges may bow, but the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. <laughs> Maybe I should have recorded that conversation. Get him out of here. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. See, I know if I, even if I just lied to Hill and said, yeah, yeah, sure, we're going to cut Harvey loose. Oh, I'll do what you say. We could have got some answers out of him. But I feel like the blowback, if Harvey found out, could be so much worse than whatever Hill was going to do to us. I mean, Hill would screw us in the end anyway, but I think keeping Harvey's friendship is more important.